The Gopher men's hockey team heading south, hoping to snipe their way to the top of the Frozen Four and, of course, bring home the championship. Those games begin next week. Let's get out to our Dawn Mitchell tonight, live at Ritter Arena with more on their trip down south. Yeah, that's right. Earlier today, the government hockey team practicing here at Ritter as they get ready and focus on Boston University. They're looking forward to heading down to Tampa and getting the business done. As you remember, last year they didn't, so they say now they are ready. It seems like a far away, it, it, you know, it's like the end of the toilet paper roll. It's going to be over. Uh, it's going to go fast. Obviously, Boston was a great experience for us. I think we, uh, we learned a lot just being able to be in that setting where, you know, it's, there's so much hype around it. Um, you know, walking down that red carpet and everyone's cheering for you, it's, it's pretty cool. And then uh, I, think, I think it's just because it's one day and then next day you're right at it. It's hard hockey. It's... You know, St. Cloud's you know, one hell of a team, and they, uh, you know, they're they're a Frozen Four caliber team. Um, you know, we played really well, but um, you know, it's going to be that same pace, that same physicality, and um, you know, just uh, obviously, it's it just little details are, are what you know come out in the end, and that's what allowed us to win, and um, that's what will allow us to bring home another you know national championship if we play that same way. And a big part of their success is their freshman class. The Gophers have 11 freshmen. That is unheard of for a team going to the Frozen Four. They are so deep. They're very talented. And this is a big part of their play. The good thing about these freshmen, some of them are phenoms, but they all play beyond their years for sure. Sometimes players have to develop that over time. They were, I think they developed that in uterus. They have it. Like they are, they are competitive. And uh, and then when you have older guys that are paving the road, uh, I hope that there's a little come together there. Yeah, it's cool to see everything that you know, Cools and Snuggy do because obviously they do, they do a lot of things that not many college hockey players can at their age. And um, but top to bottom, they've all been great. Now they face a Boston University team that has 29 wins on the season. They say they're pretty much a very similar stacked up team, so this will be a battle. Bob Mosco said last year when they lost in the semis to Minnesota State 5-1, to one, that's not what you want to have to do. You do not want to have to get on a plane after the first game and go home. So they are ready for Boston University. They've said they've learned their lesson last year. And this is Mosco's third trip to the Frozen Four. He's hoping this will be his first time he leaves as champion. Live at Ritter, Don Mitchell, back to you. All right. Thanks, Don.